Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with episode two of season four. We just watched the recap again. They're getting better and better. Like they're just intense. The music, it really- The music's cool. Helps set the tone. This episode is called, what was it? The Lion and the Rose. The Lion and the Rose. That just gives me <laughs> vibes already. That instantly, first thing I think of is Marjorie and Joffrey. Yeah, but also Cersei. Cersei and Marjorie. True, true. Yeah, that's an interesting way of looking at it. And just Tyrell and Lannister, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So I've been wanting to see a bit more escalation with the, the dynamic between those two because mm. both seem to think they have the other one backed into a corner. What? Do you think the Tyrells think that? Yes, because they've said they govern all the food that comes in that's getting less yeah. supply. And it would be a shame. They've they've made subtle threats that if they were to be upset, they would remove that. So yeah. they are playing that game. Quick before we forget, guys, let us know your thoughts. We've changed the background a little bit. A lot of you guys mentioned in comments that you actually like the darker background. So we've opted for a little bit of a darker background. Let us know whether you like the vibe. I think you're you're liking it. I think so. I'll have to see like once we go back in. Yeah, I think okay. it's pretty cool. I don't mind it. So let us know what it's like from a viewer's perspective. If you like the darker background, if you prefer a bit more light in our previous backgrounds, see which one works. Okay. Now you're repping your Targaryen t-shirt today. Yeah, I thought we've... I've been smashing the Stark one and I mean, why wouldn't I? Because I genuinely love them and I'm still grieving, but I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit today. Not that I've forgotten about the Starks. Well, Danny did make your love list. Yeah. Danny did make time. my love list. So. Yes. So yeah. And I am looking forward to seeing her progression to be fair. Like she's just. An interesting leader. And honestly, like, if I was to lead, I would like to think that I would lead in a similar way. Fair enough. I'll reserve thoughts on that one. All right, Pudgy, <laughs> take, take us away with the uh, Pudgy notes. Okay. So it was interesting. Last episode, we had a lot of interactions between, not a lot, but some interaction between Jamie and Cersei. And we you were particularly saying that, you know, you can tell Jamie is a different man and we can tell, but I don't think he realizes just yet because he's gotten that clean look again that he initially had. And like when he was captured, he had this one goal, right? And he wanted everything to be back to normal, but he's gone through so much and everyone else has gone through so much that He's not the same person and neither is anyone else. and But he's still trying to act like that same person. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. And I f we can see the yeah disparity the between that in the first episode. And it'll be interesting to see how a lot has changed. I mean, mm. even Joffrey going from some forgettable kid yeah. to being king to the point where he's berating Jamie's reputation as though he didn't have enough people doing that. Is, and knowing that that's actually your son too. Well, do you think he actually knows? He must. Uh, I don't think him and Cersei are dumb about it. Yeah, I don't think they're dumb. Yeah. And, and I, I don't think they're dumb enough to know the blonde hair, Robert Baratheon. Yeah. I mean, they had, I'm pretty sure they were both together when they had the previous hand poisoned. So I think, yeah, they, they, know. I think they know, yeah. Well, speaking of Jamie and Joffrey, in that like book of deeds, of great deeds of like all the Kingsguard and stuff, that was quite brutal. Like he's just, he just likes taunting people, Joffrey, and it's pissing me off, but... At the very end of the scene, Jamie walked up to the book and he looked at the empty pages and kind of like closed it. To me, it was kind of like, okay, now I'm on a mission. Um, to redeem his name. Yeah. And I feel like he, he his goal now, at least one of them, is going to, you know, have some great deeds in there. Even though he, he knows what he did in that Mad King era. Well, I think. Was a good deed, but. In the eyes of everyone else, not so much. Who knows? Like, he might be gone for, like, the big leagues soon. I think his interactions with Brienne had a big change on his character, too, because yeah, being in that situation and not knowing if he was going to make another day, he let go of the whole facade where he was just trying to pretend like nothing bothered him. Yeah. And he actually had to embrace the emotions he had, which was that he was just as righteous in many ways as Ned and Robert, except he was shunned rather than celebrated, mm. even by his own family. Yeah. And carrying that with him you know he let that out so now i think that he's embraced that yeah. he's like it's time to redeem my name i'm not accepting this anymore i'm not just going to be the yeah. mocked king's guard and blah 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 you know yeah but the way he responds so eloquently like he didn't even flinch at joffrey like he's just like well that i've got like my left hand you know it's more of a challenge i mean you can imagine he's dealt with tywin and how many yeah. wars and then been a captured slave for like over a year yeah. near death 
Elizabeth Warriors is Joffrey. Joffrey. <laughs> like, Joffrey thinks people fear him a lot more than they do. Yeah. He has authority, but there are a few big players that are going to, I think, put him in place pretty soon. Yeah, probably. I'm nervous this episode for Shay. We saw last episode that one of Cersei's maids or whatever dobbed Shay in. And well, like, I- it, it was Sansa's handmaiden or whatever. We've seen what happened to Roz when she got on the bad side of the Lannisters and, you know, wasn't really valued as a life very much because she's just a prostitute. Well, the bad, bad side of, like, Littlefinger as well, though. Yeah, just, yeah, but just in general, when you get on the wrong side of King's Landing is, I guess, the point yeah. I'm making. And so I'm just worried that Shay has gambled a bit too much, a bit too confident in herself, and Tyrion has limited power at the moment. It'll be very interesting to see what There's happens so here. So many people tried helping her, Varys. Tyrion, like, come on. Yeah. Like, I I loved Shay, and oh, I don't know. She's just getting a bit on my nerves. She's very naive at this point. I do get her feelings. Like, I understand where she's coming from, but it's just not in the grand scheme of things. It's very little. It's very little compared to what everyone else yeah. is going through. I don't think it was as obvious to either of us leading up to Rob's demise, his mistakes, but... Whatever happens to Shay, it's very obvious to ask her mistakes. Yeah, I think I think Rob's mistakes we saw. We just love Rob so much. We're like, oh, it's fine. Nah, I don't. Well, I know I was. Yeah, but I don't think that we saw them in the proper limelight because biases still blinded us from really. Because when we looked at it, I don't know for me, we looked at it more objectively. It almost made sense that he died. Like it was not as. Whereas to be like, we were both distraught from the sense of like, how could that even be a story writing plot? But if you look at it now in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing. It's almost like, of course, he was going to get screwed over. He's made so many critical mistakes. So for me, that was more apparent upon reflection. Whereas Shay's, I'm almost expecting, that was, we weren't expecting something bad to happen to Rob of that degree. Whereas we are expecting Shay to get screwed over. We almost have been for a season See, because of all the mistakes she'd be making. See, initially I did think something bad would happen to Rob, but then they, like, remember when their two sons or whatever went and negotiated with Rob, Catelyn and whatnot, and the uncle? I was like, oh, okay. Like, Walter Frey's fine. He's, like, calm. He just, you know, as long as he gets something else, he's fine. So, yeah, like, I still saw it. I just wanted to, like, be blind to it, really. So, last episode, Diana Harris was interesting. Like, his choice of words and his interaction with Danny. He was talking about the slaves in... M- Me. Mira. <laughs> something, I don't know. something. The place that starts with M. Yeah, I'm interested to see Danny go to that place. Actually, that'll be a big one. Yeah, well, she's on her way, and it's already horrendous. But he was saying, you know, if you want, if you want them to follow you, you have to become part of their world. And that's when he was like the scene with the flowers and things like that. But I feel like that had like double meaning for him. It was almost like trying to romance Dan- Danny, but then also it was decent advice as well yeah so i don't know i feel like he's trying to play both sides you know and he's really trying to win her over with with those interactions i mean he no no one has full access to to danny and we've seen that you know so well i'm expecting this to be the worst slave sort of nation or group of people that we've seen yet especially with the horrific signs which literally like dead little girls with their fingers pointing this one's brutal, but Danny's also coming with the strongest army and the most confidence she's ever had. So I'm really interested to see this arc for her as well. Well, I want to see how she goes about it because she's played lots of different tricks. I want to know what trick she has up her sleeve next. Yeah. So I'm hoping this episode we actually see Yara. Is it Yara? Finally find Theon or at least on her way. Give us a little bit of hope because... I don't think we'll see this episode. The training embarked at the end of last season. It'll be a process. I think maybe middle of the season, middle to late of the season, yeah. will be any progress with Theon. It won't happen this episode. I mean, the guy's gone through so much already. How long can the guy wait? How long can I wait is the real question. So last episode, we met the prince as well, and he was yeah. seemed to be a pretty cruel, intimidating figure. I'm very intrigued. He sent a big threat to Tywin, and I really want to see how his interaction with the Lannisters, as we know, the Lannisters yeah. are a force we reckon with. Anyone who threatens Tywin must be out of his right mind, unless you've got an, even, you know, mm. with a big army, it's difficult, let alone this guy's rocked up with a handful of men. So 
It'd but be very interesting. He's got a few screws loose, so yeah, just... but uh, he doesn't seem like a fool. He definitely yeah. feels like he can back it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that interaction and, and conflict progress as well. But he's very like weird as well, and I can't. Remember, I don't know what his like right hand girl is called, but she seems to try and tame him, and obviously has no control over him. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. As always, guys, a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Your support means the world to us and we appreciate it a lot. If you are interested in supporting us over on Patreon, check out the link in the description. We do have early access to upcoming reactions as well as uncut reactions. For everyone over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button so you're up to date with our future uploads and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of today's reaction. Okay. Let's go, the line in the rose. <laughs> Oh, is that when they're younger? When who's younger? I don't know. It looked like Theon and I thought Rob. so too. I thought Theon, but... <laughs> oh, hang on. It's some weird... <laughs> That's Ramsay and Theon. But who's she? Is this actually happening? I don't know if this is a dream or not. Holy shit. Oh, this is real. I think that was one of the other girls. What the hell is this dude? I only wounded her. Huh? You brought her down. That's what matters. Fine shot, master. Lady. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Don't cry. It oh. will be <laughs> Wait, is she the other girl that was with her? I don't know. What the hell is this? But you made Miranda feel jealous. I'm really jealous of her. I know. <laughs> She's the other girl that was with her. Theon has like twitches. <laughs> oh my god, dude. So what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, Theon. And the other girl, Tansy, is her name? Oh my. Jeez. Holy crap. When you think it couldn't get any worse. What the fuck was that? Dude, that intro scene still threw me off. My brain's yeah. like, what the hell? I can't fight anymore. What about your left? I can hold a sword. All my instincts are wrong. Yeah, poor Jamie. You're the Lord Commander now. Come on. Let others do the fighting. It's a good point. You need a proper, discreet swordsman. As it happens, I have just the one. Who? Serio? Nah, he's I knew dead. You'd think that. <laughs> we don't know if he's dead. It's sort of. I think he is. My brother tells oh. me to keep your mouth shut. He tells <laughs> this me will be interesting. Told, just like your father. <laughs> this will be a bad interaction, yeah. Right here is where I f his wife. Oh. She's a screamer, that one. If they don't hear her, they won't hear us. <laughs> oh my god, he's what just so story, funny. Dude. What a story. Ah! Bull warrior you are attacking a man when his guard's down. First time to attack a man. Interesting. I still have my right hand. Plan on growing it back. <laughs> <laughs> Such a smart ass. He's the right teacher. Yeah, somewhat. Oh. Shit. Oh, this is dangerous. He's not going to give two shits, so it's good. Well, he's not bowing to him or treating him differently. He's perfect teacher for Jamie. But what was that opening scene, dude? My uh -oh. mind is still scarred. <laughs> oh, is that his? That's his wife. Oh yeah, yeah. The fright girl. Walter, this is Ramsey Snow, my bastard. A pleasure, mother. Mother. Or maybe the marriage was recently then, as you said. Yeah. Where is your prize? With the hounds. I'll have a look at him. Ugh. Holy crap, dude. The Boltons are sadistic, man. I know. Ugh. Is people serious? Dude, Theon has been beaten down and crippled. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, me too, dude. It's hard to watch. I trained him. He was a slow learner. You flayed him. 
peeled a few bits, removed a few others. Oh, I hate you. I forgot to put him on my hate list. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a snow. Damn. Oh, shit. Put him in his play suit. They're going to have similar... Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't think Bolton was as bad. Savages have you sent terms to Bail and Greyjoy without my consent. Oh, oh shit. It's a fair point. Theon was our enemy. Reek will never betray us. Oh, yes, he I will. I too much trust in you. Yeah, tell him, man. That's all right. Be fuming. Be it. Reek. How could you let me stand before my father unshaven? It's disrespectful. Sorry, my lord. He's trying to prove a point now, I think. Holy crap, dude, this is hard to watch. What the hell, what's happened to Theon? What? He's is... proving that with the razor he won't kill him. Please, dude, I would love if he killed him, but I, I know. know. I feel I like know. he won't. Well, this isn't the right time to do it anyways. You've got two other men there. But at this point, you don't care about your life. If you had him that much. Where are Bran and Rickon Stark? I don't know, my lord. You'll murder them. And display their corpses at Winterfell. Damn, he knows that information. No, my lord. Just two farm boys. And crisp them so no one would know. <sighs> if Bran and Rickon are alive, the country will rally to their side. I oh, hope so. Stark is gone. Oh. He never knew. Rob Stark is dead. I'm sorry. I know he was like a brother to you, but my father put a knife through his heart. Oh my God, kill them all, Theon. This episode is disgusting for the opening man. My God. Jon Snow's at Castle Black. No, don't tell them the truth. Oh, dude, I love if Snow wrecked these guys. Bring this creature of yours. Oh, oh, man. Don't talk about him like that. Take the mode for the family. For our family. And I'll reconsider your position. Dude, I hope Jon wrecks this absolute disgusting snake, man. I hope Jon wrecks him. Oof, this has been a hard opening to watch. Anything to do with... What's his name? Ramsay, is it? Ramsay. Anything to do with Ramsay is just sickening, man. That that opening scene, like, that girl was the two girls that he liked. Yeah. That were, like, serving him. And because one got jealous, they massacred her. Do you reckon the other one's a sister? Like, Ramsay's sister? I don't no, know. No, I don't think so, no. That were just the two girl, slave girls that he had. No, no, but why did he prefer that one over the other? I oh, mean, we Obviously, we don't know that. That's But the point is, he had the dogs maul. Like, this guy takes pleasure in torture. This guy's... I, actually, I can't believe he's not on my hate list, but Ramsay is yeah. just as disgusting as Joffrey. I tell you that. Yeah. 100%. I forgot to put him on there. Yeah. I won't forget again. Ramsay and Theon are in similar positions. They both are trying to please their fathers and get the love of their fathers. Really. It's hard to watch Theon, man. It's so yeah. hard to watch what he's become. I don't know if I don't actually know if he'll recover at all from this. I feel like at this point he's gonna have one last deed before he dies. Just like one last moment he'll do something and then die. Oh man, that Nah, Yara's on her way. Positivity. Yara's on her way. Yeah, there's that too, I suppose. But, oh, my God. It's... She'll she'll come for them. Oh, but you know what the thing is? They're moving now, so they're not even going to be in the same spot. So, oh, yeah, you might be right. It might be like... I don't know, man. I don't know. Between Yara and John, I hope someone puts it to Ramsay and the Boltons. The Boltons are a dirty house. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. I'm afraid foreigners aren't welcome at such exclusive affairs. Oh, to be foreign. <laughs> Jay has been noticed. Sansa's maid saw you with her. She already told Oh, wow. He knows already. It's only a matter of time before your father hears. Shit. And you'll tell him some clever lie. No, I will not. How long do you imagine your father and sister would let me live if they suspected me of lying? True. He's very smart. That's why Varys is alive. Your father has promised to hang the next whore he finds you with. Yeah. Yeah, Tyrion, hop on that train, man. 
<sighs> shay, shay, shay. Take your eyes off her. This is the whore I told you about. The dark head. Have I brought to the Tower of the Ham before the wedding? Damn, dude. Tywin wastes no time. Wow. A book every king should read. Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. What? What response was that? I'm confused. I don't buy it. I'm confused. Was that Tywin trying to like pull some strings? I don't know. One of only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. Oh, from him. That's dangerous in his hands. He can't even wield it. He's, he's an absolute spasty. I'd love if he cut himself. Please. Hope he embarrasses himself. <laughs> That's the bull bacteria and holy. Oh, Joffrey, man. Such a great sword should have a name. What shall I call her? Widow's well, I like that. That's the one he goes for? Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. This guy has- Someone this... cut his head off with that sword, please. Oh my god. This episode has me on the edge so much. Oh, don't be so happy, Shay. Don't. <laughs> oh, it's Tyrion time. Tyrion's furious. What's wrong, my lion? Don't call me that. What should I call you? I'm afraid our friendship can't continue. Oh, damn. She's so naive, man. You're afraid of your father and your sister. You should be, dude. I'm not going to run she... from them. We'll fight them together. It's like you said. I am your So enemy. naive. You're a whore. Oh, yeah, you had to pull that card. It's the only way to hurt her. I can't be in love with a whore. I can't have children with a whore. To be honest, she's pretty dumb if she believes that. But He sounds serious, but... To be fair, Shay, you pushed him to this. Yeah, she wouldn't she listen. trying to do it the nice way. Dude, this episode has no chill. I know. <sighs> Why do I feel like Tywin's gonna, like... <laughs> get to her. Oh, I'm still nervous, yeah. Damn, poor Tyrion. <sighs> I mean, poor both of them, but, like, Shay, come on. Oh, dude. Accept these tokens of our faith, my lord. Wow, they're still going ahead with their sacrifices, dude. Please! You're my sister! Yours are the stars that guide us. What the oh, hell? Oh, damn. Well, the night is dark. Look at Sanus' face. They're not even people who disobeyed, I think. They're just chosen. Oh my god, dude. This Lord of Light's gotten bad. Davos can't even look at it. She's smiling. What's it happened to you, Stannis, dude? It was their souls. That's his wife, right? Them. Did you see? She's crazy. Stannis, what has happened to you, brother? Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. Stannis lost a lot of respect for me. He actually has minimal at this point. Our larders are almost empty. Serve fish, then. We're on an island. You hate fish. I hate a good many things, but I suffer them all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Stannis boiled soup for me from books. Binding glue is made from horses. Ew. Yeah, his wife's a bit weird. She's trying to connect with him a bit. You think she's sweet because she smiles when you visit. She is sullen and stubborn and sinful. Don't Holy you dare! Crap. She needs the rod. She's my daughter. You will not strike her. Wow, dude. As you command. Yeah, as he commands. Poor girl, dude. What kind of life is this? What do you know of the gods? I read the Seven Pointed Star. Lies and fables. <laughs> of course it is. Then there are no seven heavens. No seven hells. As Rob would say, There's Robert. There's only one hell, princess. The one we live in now. Oh, I mean, interesting take. I yeah. Mean, I would agree that this world is a hell. <laughs> yeah. Just give me hell. Is this Bran in a wolf or something? Oh, damn. 
Why did you wake me? You've been gone for hours. Oh, whoa. I was just eating. Summer was eating. Your body can't live on the food your wolf consumes. Right. Good distinction. It would be a very blurred line. Yeah. I think that's one of the risks. If you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. Yeah. yeah. And if we lose you, we lose everything. It's a good reminder. Like, you can't states. be carried away. Yeah. That raven again. Oh my it's god. Ned. Yeah. Look for me. Beneath the tree. Dude, what is this? No. That was pretty what cool. What the hell? There was so much in that. Wow. Like we even saw the dra dragon over King's Landing, I think. Wonder what it all means. Holy shit. Is this the wedding day? I think so. But that's going to be a lot to unpack. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's see what happens here because weddings very rarely go well in this world. Any ceremony for that matter. Oh my god, her hair's so big. <laughs> yeah. She reminds me of the little girl from the Grinch. I just know Marjorie has a game plan here, you know? I hope so. We have a new queen. Better her than you. Yeah, true. She makes a bar of Cersei now too, technically. Oh, well, that's the one ceremony that goes well, and of course it's Joffrey's. Oh, I know, dude. People who spend their money on this sort of nonsense tend not to have it for long. You ought to try enjoying something before you die. <laughs> I love these two, man. Not now, Mace. Lord Tywin and I are speaking. <laughs> Damn, that's her husband, dude. I think that's her son. Tim. Very extravagant. Santa didn't get this. Well, they never got married, remember? They were meant to and it never happened. Santa? They never got actually married. Sansa and... Joffrey were wed to no, get married. No, and Tyrion. Oh. <laughs> what do you want to <laughs> Of course they got... Of course Santa didn't get this, dude. The two richest houses are marrying. No, like... I know, I know. But, you know, Tyrion's also a Lannister. I get that Joffrey's the king, but I was just saying it was extravagant. She's gone. I she hope that's don't true. Believe it, but she is. I don't believe it still. Neither. The ship might be corrupt or something. Time would have got into her. I haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was to hear about your brother. Elena, I love you. As if men need more reasons to fear marriage. <laughs> you must excuse me, it's time I ate some of this food I've paid for. <laughs> she is the breath of fresh air, especially she for is, Santa. Very good, very good. Off you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Joffrey. The Queen would like to say a few words. Here we go. What's this going to be? How does she stomach him? I don't know. Power. King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. She's using his power to oh. goodwill. I know. He's, he's a joke. You're an example to us all. Oh, oh, so, so yuck. So yuck. <laughs> if you were to marry Cersei, she'd murder you in your sleep. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Luckily for you, none of this will happen because you'll never marry her. Oh my god. And neither will you. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, Loris doesn't seem intimidated. He's a knight after all. And Tyrells are quite strong. You're the one who put a sword through Renly Baratheon. That's not true, my love. Brienne had nothing to do with it. Good job, Marjorie. I hope your reign is long and peaceful. Yes. Thank you. I hope we see more of you. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh my god, dude. Joffrey's unbearable. I owe you my gratitude. You returned my brother safely to King's Landing. Oh yeah. That's true. 
In truth, he rescued me, Your Grace. More than once. Oh yeah, so she doesn't know about this side of him. I haven't heard that story before. Not such a fascinating story, I'm afraid. Brienne's like proud of it. it. Must be exciting to flit from one camp to the next. Cersei! You have to have a lord or lady you fancy. Dude, like mother like Stop Sandman. Would you love him? Oh. I had a feeling in the bath scene, but... Oh, Grace. You could have just denied that. Dude, Cersei and Joffrey are never up to any good, man. I know. Holy crap, those two. And I will examine you personally. Oh my god, sneaky snake Pascal, piss off. You annoy me right now. Every breath you draw in my presence annoys me. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave my presence. Leave this wedding right now. Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. Oh my god! The queen they were is be. telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Oh my god, dude. I can't wait till Cersei and gets her due like Joffrey Man. Oh, what is she doing? I like that she was talking back to Pycelle, no, but no, that was... I'd rather Pycelle in that scenario. I'd despise Cersei. Oh my god. Cersei's a, Cersei's a mutt, dude. I've got no respect for her. Horrendous. Wait till Joffrey hears that he's gone over her his head. She's gone over his head. The Lord Hunt, Tywin Lannister, and Cersei Lannister, the Queen Regent. I suppose it is former Queen Regent now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Bastards are born of passion. One day, we don't despise them in Dorne. No, how tolerant of you. I expect it is a relief, Lady Cersei, giving up your regal responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Oberyn. With any luck, the gout will abate with time and he'll be able to walk again. They call it the rich man's disease. I wonder you don't have it. <laughs> In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is considered distasteful. Damn, dude, he's putting it to Tywin. This is interesting. Former Queen Regent, that your daughter Marcella has been sent to live in the latter sort of place. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh damn. Oh. I'm liking him. Time has come for all of us to contemplate our history. Where's he going with this? Oh, here we go. Oh. King Joffrey. Oh. Renly. I reckon he's mocking Tyrion because he's picked all dwarfs. I don't know if that's a cultural thing, but I think he might be mocking Tyrion here. Yeah. Well, everyone. Rob, Theon, everyone. Yeah. Seriously, of course she smiles. Oh yeah, because oh, Loris would be affected by mocking, that. Yeah. So distasteful. Joffrey's loving it, dude. You see him loving it? Oh, Tyrion. He put his hand on Sansa. <laughs> He's such a sick, cruel man. That affects everyone, even Marjorie, because she was marrying Renly. Tyrion's not loving it either. Well, Marjorie actually has a heart. God damn, Oh dude. my god. I love the intensity of the room, though. Everyone's looking at each other and stuff. Tywin, you're clapping, really? Dude, he's a smart man. You don't play the short game. The way you want it to get done is not how you win. A true champion defeats all the challenges. <gasps> Surely there are others out there who still dare to challenge my reign. Oh no, Uncle. Oh my God! You, of Uncle? course. Sure they have a spare costume. <laughs> One taste of combat was enough for me, Your Grace. I would like to keep what remains of my face. Yeah, I true. Think you should fight him. This oh. is but a poor imitation of your own bravery on the field of battle. I speak as a first-hand witness. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> Let's go. It would be a tragedy for the king to lose his virtue hours <laughs> before his wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrion, I love you for that. I mean, I loved you anyways. You're just even better now. Go on, Joffrey. What are you going to do? Oh, no. Stay away. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Cersei, really? Take that smoke off your face. Shame that it spilled. It did not spill. My love, come back to me. Tyrion's a good sport. Good job, Marjorie. Uncle, you can be my cup there. He's really pushing his strings, dude. No one wants to be there right now. He has to go that one step further every time. Oh, Cersei, you're pissing me off. I'm impressed. Tyrion's being a good sport here, like he's holding, holding his nerve. Oh, Sansa. I like that. Respect for Sansa. What good is an empty cup? Fill it. Isn't he embarrassed to act like this in front of everyone? Poison it. Neil. Oh my god, he's pushing his luck. Oh my god. Draw his sword and cut his knees. Look, the pie! Respect for Marjorie, honestly. She's trying her best, but that scene was hard to watch. I know. Too. Joffrey's getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, and that's all it's good for in your hands, all right? Keep it like that. Can we leave now? Let's find out. Uncle! Of course, dude, this guy cannot give it a rest. I thought I might change out of these wet clothes, Your Grace. Oh, no, 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 no. You're perfect the way you are. Serve me my one. Dude, everyone's not comfortable by this joke, you can just say. If it please, Your Grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. <coughs> no. The wait here. I hope he doesn't. What was in the wine? <coughs> Your Grace. <coughs> <coughs> keep, keep drinking. Keep drinking whatever was in that wine. <laughs> He's choking. I'm the poor boy. Oh, don't help him at all. Dude, this is fantastic. <laughs> Joffrey, come with me now. Joffrey! Did he do something? No, I don't think Tyrion did anything. No, not Tyrion, that guy. Why? Like this? <laughs> no, don't. No, it was not Tyrion. Dude, there's Stop no it. way. There's no way that just happened. Like this? <laughs> I'm just so confused. <laughs> you did this. Yeah, dude, because he grabbed the one cup. He poisoned my son. Oh, shut up, Cersei. Take him. Take him! Take him! Take him! How is Tyrone letting this happen like he did it? He obviously just grabbed a random cup. I know. That's so stupid. <laughs> it just doesn't feel real that he's dead. <laughs> like we have waited so long for this moment, but it was beautiful. But at the same time, it was underwhelming a little bit. Look, I wanted. I was imagining at one point Joffrey losing his kingdom, getting tortured, punished. Beaten like all this that shit that he like it just feels like I'm like I didn't want him to go out this easily. Look, poison's a mercy for him. He struggled. Yeah, I get it. It was gruesome, but poison's a mercy for this man. I wanted him to. I'm still like digesting it. I thought this episode was. I was. Not, I. I. I did not uh, see that coming. I did, definitely did not expect Joffrey to die this one. Like holy crap. Man, what? I'm torn. And it's so soon, like into the season. Like, yeah, wow. I didn't. I thought he'd last way longer. Oh. What does this even mean? Because he hasn't had kids. 
No, she's the queen. Marjorie's the queen. I like this. Makes me think the most likely suspect is the Tyrells because it's almost too poetic that as soon as she became queen, he's gone. Mm. I, I know that's the obvious choice, but it just seems well, too that, poetic. Well, that guy from the name day, like the big guy that was speaking with Sansa, um, I don't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure his family, something had to do with wine and things like that. So did he provide that? Well, he knew it would happen because Well, yeah, he... that's what I'm saying. So, uh, was it him, maybe? I have no idea. Wow, well, dude. I'm almost... It's almost like getting a birthday present, but before it's your birthday, you don't, yeah. know, how, you don't know how to receive it. <laughs> like, I've been waiting for this so long, and I just never thought it would come this soon, and so just like that. Like, mm. I thought it'd be something that would build up and build up and... Yeah. Wow. Dude, everything changes now. I mean, King's I'm Landing happy. changes. I don't even know. Do the Lannisters... Have they just lost their, their, their throne? I don't actually know all, how all the no, hard work. No, no. So Marjorie's married, so now she's queen. That's what I'm saying. So like, Lannister, Marjorie's not a Lannister. She's a Tyrell. No, she's con- she's considered a Lannister now. Like okay, yeah, she's I guess. Married. But they lost their throne in the sense that Marjorie yeah. will. Well, I hope so. It's li- otherwise literally going to be a war between Cersei and bloody Marjorie. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't even know where to where to begin. But we'll leave that for a sec because we'll keep going on about that. All day, but Holy this shit. episode overall, I mean, it was just, it's almost poetic the way that happened because the overall, this episode was just sadistic and cruel. Yeah. I mean, that opening was sickening. We've talked about it. Ramsay overall and the Boltons, they're just a really, what's happening with Theon, that whole scenario is just uh, disturbing. That's mm-hmm. not the only word for it. It's disturbing. And then the amount of emphasis they put on Joffrey at the end there, yeah. just again and again, you've never seen him be so, like, would not let up. It's like, holy crap, this guy's out of control. And his downfall then was asking Tyrion for another glass of wine. He could have just let him go, change his clothes. So... I can't speak too soon because I don't know how the next episode will kick off. Mm. But if Tyrion actually threatened in jail, that just seems like a really, uh, maybe a poorly executed scene because... It's very obvious Tyrion just grabbed the cup that he told him. How is Tyrion going to plan anything? Yeah. Joffrey made the decision to make him his cupbearer. So to blame Tyrion at all and for Tywin to let that happen makes no sense. Well, the thing is, if Tyrion's in a vulnerable position, so is Sansa, and that really scares me. That's why they had Sansa moved. Yeah, but yeah. It, again, it just doesn't make sense. And if Marjorie's queen, she won't stand for that so i don't I know. hope not because if something happens to my man Tyrion, i will be fuming like i've already lost rob like i think those two have been in my love list like from the very start no there's no way i don't know wow i'm still shocked like joffrey's dead like i did not expect him to die oh honestly when it was happening i was like it's happening but it's not. It's happening, but it's not. I was like, oh, my God, is that actually going to happen? Yeah, I was waiting for him to get saved last minute, but damn. Yeah, because, like, if he was choking, I thought, like, you know, like, Jamie would, like, what's it called? That maneuver? The hymen maneuver? Or something? I don't remember, but I know the one. Um, yeah, no, he wasn't was choking on food. He was choking on yeah, poison. Yeah, poison. Oh, so good. Wow. Well, that's going to be a... And this is only episode two, isn't it? Or three? Two. So, damn, this is going to be an interesting season then. Very different to what we expected. Mm. One thing I want to chat about, I mean, it happened so fast, I feel like I kind of have to watch that little scene again, but the vision, I guess you would say, with Bran and the Godswood tree. A lot in that. A lot in that. Yeah, like, you had dragons flying over King's Landing, which, I mean, I was kind of expecting anyways. You had the raven saying, like, you know, Saying north. And and come find me. Come find me, north. Ned. As Ned. Well. The all those ravens when Sammy was in the north as well. Yeah, that something to do so with much. White Walkers, Targaryens, the North. It's all somehow linked. Yeah. And he seems really like reassured in himself. He's like, I know where to find them. So it's almost like he has like he knows his purpose now. Yeah. But it was interesting. Was it like the tree like calling out to him? Like he just knew that he had to like touch it. It was weird. I feel so bad for Theon. Like he's literally broken right now. Yeah. It's the, it's, it's very tough to watch this episode. Like he can't maintain eye contact. He just, I don't know. He's like a yes man, but 
10 times worse. We started with the Stark family and what we've seen it become is just horrendous. Sansa's like frightened and just been stuck in King's Landing since the beginning. Ned's dead. Rob's dead. Theon's crippled. Catelyn's Brand's dead. crippled in, in one sense. Like Catelyn's dead. It's just, oh my God, how many Dywolf's dead? Like everyone's just been copping just horrendous situations. God damn, the Stark family had no idea what was waiting them. It's been a real tough three, three seasons. I'm hoping this one gives them something back, but wow. Little did the Starks know John going to the wall was probably the best thing for the family. Yep. For John, anyway. For John, but also, like, everyone knows where John is. Like, as in the family, so they have, like, a pinpoint, okay, we can go see him. Well... You know, who knows, like, that might not even end well because the Boltons know where he is. Theon gave that away, didn't that he? So, <sighs> Very eager to see where the world and power struggle is going to pick up to from here because losing Joffrey is, is will leave a big mark. Oh, it's yeah. It's very interesting. You know what the thing is? Game of Thrones is, like... They've done it so well. There's like this overarching story and goal, but each season you think you know where they're going to go with the story, but no they, idea. they go completely opposite. Not even like just, I, I don't and, know. And this show has as little plot armor as I've seen in any show. I mean, Joffrey the King and everyone's up just crabs. died because of, you know, po poison his wedding. Like you'd think, okay, there's so much more to his story arc. It's like, nah, let's get rid of him now. Do you think it was Marjorie? I don't know. As I said, the Tyrells seem like the obvious choice, but I almost like mm. it's too obvious, so I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's 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 going to be really interesting to find out. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, <laughs> remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We are still digesting what the hell just went on. Like and subscribe for uh, Joffrey dying. Joffrey dying. <laughs> yep. And stay tuned. We'll be finding out next episode what the hell, where, what this all means. Where it's all going to lead to because your guess is as good as mine, although probably better because you know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, you but guys know. <laughs> I'm baffled at this point. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next reaction. See you guys.